Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Alton here. Welcome back to Let's Play Mech Warrior 2 Mercenaries. We just finished a rather successful set of missions on the planet of Proserpina, which is now an independent a planet once again held by the Federated Commonwealth. We managed to kick the DC out of there, and now we have money and mechs and news. Let's begin with the news, shall we? See what's happening. Kurita challenges Federated Commonwealth. Hmm. In our top story, Theodore Kurita announced today that the Raconis Combine would no longer tolerate the continual economic and military aggression from the Federated Commonwealth. This is the fourth in a series of veiled threats from Kurita's high commanders, all aimed at the Federated Commonwealth. Prince Hans Davion was unable for comment, though Reliable sources claim Archon Melissa seemed unconcerned by Theodore Kurita's continued posturing and has just embarked on a two-week vacation to the southern regions of Tharkrad. This seems very, somehow very familiar to me. Now let's see. Political analysts predict that the hostility between the Federated Commonwealth and the Draconis Combine will continue, will turn openly violent in the months ahead. Jandex expands. In economic news to Jandex Corporation, the galaxy's largest producer of personal sanitary projects, has announced plans to expand, opening a number of plants on various planets throughout the Federated Commonwealth. Jandex was amongst the last year's 10 highest grossing corporations. That's fantastic news. I'm so happy we'll have... I don't know what. Oh, fuck it. Nova Star's ornaments originally based on Galadon 5, recently became a casualty in the ongoing conflict between the Draconis Combine and the mutineer terrorist groups. Novistar has long been accused of supplying mutineers with weapons and ammunition, and yesterday the Draconis forces destroyed a large Novistar Delta Dart LRM manufacturing facility. Analyst predicts the shortage of long-range missile launchers and ammunition as merchants and the successor states hoard existing stores. Oh bugger. That might make it more expensive now. And truth be told, last mission I totally fell in love with LRMs. Goodness me, those things are very effective. I don't remember being that fond of them in the past, but I may have to reconsider my old notions. Anyway. Uh, we have mechs now, um, multiple in fact, um, so first I'm going to do a save, game. just to, you know, have game. a backup Save. in case I, oopsie, totally fap up, which is not uncommon for me. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's see what we could, let's check out what type of mechs these things are anyway. Um, right, we've got three mechs, the assassin, that's mine. Uh, then we got the Sentinel, which is a light... It was actually a 40-tonner. That's equal to my Assassin. Then we got Urban Mech, which is a lightweight mech. And the Sentinel's actually filled up to the brim. No jump jets, though. Nine internal engine heat sinks. No external heat sinks. Six-ton armor, one laser. And the Urban Mech seems to be pretty much empty. It's a 30-ton mech. I might... It might be more clever to actually sell this thing and then... Because I don't use auto cannons. I'm not going to reconsider that. Mm. Mm, let's see. First though, let's actually hire a pilot or two. Yeah, we're going to build a lance here. Ah, that's what you call, I think, five mechs or so. I don't know. Contracts. We'll Connecting to Comstar mm, contract no. database. Personnel. Accessing personnel. All right. Uh, let's see. Alice Jackson, Psych Gunnery B, Piloting B, Profile Stable, Highly Intelligent, Career History. Alice is no battle experience. Hmm. Yeah, it could be. Could be. Uh, let's see. This would be Edmund Ferrin. Um, psychological profile. Edmund is extremely technical, almost lacking in any strong emotions. This makes him an ice cold Macquarie and a lethal killer. Career history a veteran of the Solaris 7 arena. Edmund has 10 kills in 12 battles on Solaris with the loss of only a single battle mech. 
since Solaris 7, Edmund has fought in five battles with the third recon company. He left his mercenary unit when accused by Haas Davion of cowardice. Um, he's cheaper, but no. Should have hired the A plus one. Um, fine, I'll hire you. You're cheaper anyway. Right. I might hire both actually and keep three max on me. Let's see. Personnel. There we go. Uh, right. Perfect. No. Let's see. This is the assassin. That's mine. Let's see. Uh, equipment. Missiles. I don't have any missiles uh, in stock, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, the sent this is the sentinel. All uh, right, I'm gonna take you out and you as well. And small range missiles, me. Nah. Actually, don't have anything in stock. Interesting. I have to buy some crap. Um, I do have LRM five in stock. Right, next, except yeah. That's fine. The urban mech has very little. Couple of jump jets. I don't think I want jump jets on my. Uh, well, I'll leave them on there. Okay. Um, let's go to the arms merchant and. I got 16 of these things. I'm just going to sell off the broken ones. There we go. Let's buy a couple of extra heat sinks and some medium lasers. Um, there we go. Now, how about missiles? Don't have LRM 20s anymore. So I'm going to go with a fiber. Fuck it. Um, large laser. Those usually have a bit better range too. Got four medium, couple of smalls, and a PPC. Um, thinking. Yeah. Now, let's see if we got ourselves some high tonnage mech here. Um, something in the 50 range. 50 Centurion. Looks cool, actually. Hunchback. Dragon. Ooh. Looks rather sturdy. 6 million credits. If I sell that, I'll have 5. That's not enough. Jaeger mech. 65 tons. That one looks weird. 6 million crab. Catapult. I always like this. I always like this design. Catapult. Yeah. It's pretty much a missile launch platform mech. Um, let's see. If I sell one of these, I'll have enough. You know what? I'm going to keep them. I'm just going to keep them. Um, I'm happy with my assassin. I'm not going to change it. Right, Sentinel has absolutely zero uh, of everything. Anything? Let's check out their its speed. Hit buttons. Standard engine. Running speed. My assassin's pretty fast. Gonna keep it that way. Sentinel. You do want your mechs to be somewhat in the same range speed wise. 
Right, let's actually put some medium there. Let's see, let's add a medium laser. Add a couple of these. Um, a couple of large. Large one too. Oh, wait, I've already gone over my weight limit here. Wow. These things are very heavy. Way too heavy. Well, that's useful. Uh, let's actually chuck in a couple of jump jets. There we go. And a couple more. There we go. Actually, I was thinking about adding some armor tonnage to them as well. Six tons of armor. Let's see, two laser mediums. An auto cannon? There's a fucking auto cannon on this thing? Oh, well, that will explain a couple of things. Oh, well, there we go then. Ha! Ah, now we have some space to add some toys. So let's see, I'm gonna remove that. And I'm gonna I'll stock two, and I'll add one large laser here. Extra jump jets. And I'm gonna add some more armor on it because this is gonna be controlled by a CPU player, which is, um, uh, they're not the best thinkers. Um, actually, I'm gonna take off a couple of notches here. And add some heat sinks too, because this is a pretty intensive mech when it comes to heat production. So add some armor. Let's see. Um, arms can get shot off. There's nothing in them. So let's just add a couple of notches of armor to the back. Eight will do. Let's get some armor on the center torso, a bit more on the front, and the legs. Can add a few more. There we go. And whatever le is left, I'll just. Mm. Like that. Like that. That'll do. Yes, I accept these customizations. Alright, Urban Mech. Let's add some jump jets to the legs. Um, there really are two in them. Add more, you bastard. What the hell? Guess I'm at a maximum of two or something. Hmm. Odd. Right, let's put some energy weapons on there. Might just add this one, really. PPC. Oh, that's a large laser. Alright, let's add some medium ones here, too. There we go. Well, that'll do. It's, since I can't add, engine cannot be removed. I want to remove it. I want to check out its speed. Whoa, that is slow. That'll have to do. That was a really lousy engine, by the way. Let's see, it's armor allocation. It's gonna be a very pricey fucking mech this way. What? Hmm. No, I don't want to accept that at all. Let's see, if I sell this, I'll have four. Let's see if there's a four. Cicada. 40 ton mech. Two lasers, one laser medium, one laser small. Four ton of armor. Could buy another assassin, I suppose? Yeah, I could. Or Jenner, maybe a Panther. 
Not one of these for sure. Where could buy a crab? Hmm. This is a really soddy mech. <laughs> it's almost not worth keeping it around. Let's see that one. Something in the three million cicada. It's a 40 ton mech. This is a 35 30 ton mech. You know what? We're just gonna be the 40 squad and we'll sell this piece of shit. There we go. Buy the cicada. Yeah. Let's see, I got the cicada. Engine. Yeah, that's good. Let's actually slow it down a bit. And let's see, it's got the laser medium in here. Let's add some jump jets to it, to each leg. There we go. Vol below the tonnage maximum. Medium laser, medium laser. Let's add some uh, large laser too. That should do it. And a PP. Well, let's add some. Um, Things. There we go. And let's finish it off with some armor. Just make sure that it's maxed out a bit. Um, there we go. It's much lightly armored than the other one, though. Um, come on. So I think I'll just. I didn't take. On, uh, I didn't bring the PPC. No, I didn't. Alright. Take off one heat sink and add some armor instead. Quite a bit of armor as it seems. There we go. Yeah. Seven tons. Goody. So let's actually make sure this thing isn't made of paper. Alright. Same here. Let's just max this out. 12, 8, 13, 7. Now we'll go with 13, 7. There we go. Head is maxed out. Let's max out the legs. That is severely maxed out, actually. Um, 15 on the legs. Come on. And 15 on the other leg, too. Can't change anything with the head armor. Let's see what else can I do. Ah, the arms are probably going to get shot off really quickly. Yeah, I'll leave it at this. There we go. Except right. Well, we certainly did some investment here. Quite a big one too. Um, thing about the AIs is give them heavy weapons and make them not shoot that often. That's what I understand. That works best. It doesn't matter for me. I, I'm fine with anything. Select game. Okay, that is just annoying. <laughs> Alright. Alright, we got ourselves some, uh, some, a lance here, some people. I'm already at 18 minutes. Wow. Okay, let's check out some contracts here. Um, this one is June 1. This is summer next year. This is at the end of that year, and this is... You see, the, the previous one ended in... Um, November 10. So this is... this one's in... Sorry, I have no idea what year it is. This could actually be the one I need to pick up. Because it ends in January. And this one starts again in June, so there's a couple of months in between that. But I might be able to pick up this, so... Uh, but I'm kind of worried that I'll... You know, um, it, it says one month. This is a randomly generated mission. So I think I'll just pick up this one. June 1st to November 1st. No, wait. This one. December 1 to January 31. 
and this one ends in 3046 so I'll be able to pick up this one after that for sure so I'll just stick to the story missions it pays five bill five million cr credits this one just pays less and there's no salvage on this one. Oh look it's Jandex huh but you know what I'm just gonna pick up uh, a mission in the next episode call simply leave this one um, a bit le a bit deprived of any action <laughs> well customization action people it's important too thanks again for watching and I'll see you all next time bye bye for now